And how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count, here with a brand new Pokemon Go Raid Guide video. Today we're going to be covering none other than Genesect with Douse Drive. This is going to be a little bit trickier than you would think, but if you bring the right counters and you bring the right Pokemon, especially one Mega Pokemon in particular, you will be able to defeat this boss very easily, mainly because its stats makes it one of the squishiest legendaries in the game, so you should be able to do it with the least number of trainers as possible. And I'm going to be talking about how you can do that in this video, so let's roll the intro and jump right into it. Alright, so let's jump right into it. This is going to be for Genesec with Douse Drive, which does give it water type attacks. That's going to make it a little bit trickier than usual, mainly because the one counter that you always bring to Genesec is of course fire types. And yes, fire types are weak against water type attacks. And a Genesec with Douse Drive is going to have a water type attack, but this is not too much of a concern considering that it will not get a benefit from stab bonuses. So of course, even if it does have a water type move, it's not going to deal significant amounts of damage. So you can still bring all the same counters you typically would for Genesect, but there are a couple of mega evolutions that you will gain a benefit from. And what mega evolutions am I talking about? Well, either Mega Charizard X or Mega Charizard Y. Now between the two Mega Charizards, obviously the Y variant is going to be a little bit more powerful and deal a little bit more damage, but the X variant does does have that dragon typing, which will help out in terms of resisting that water type move. But overall, either of these mega evolutions are something you should bring. Now, considering that Genesect has some of the smallest defense stats in the game when it comes to legendaries and mythicals, that means you could bring just a small number of trainers up against this boss, even though it has a water type move. I highly suggest you go with at least one or two other trainers that are at least level 40, and you all have have a whole bunch of really powerful fire types. Now let's talk about those fire types that you should bring. First and foremost, there is the Mega Charizards that I mentioned before, but there's also Mega Houndoom as well. This is another powerful fire type Mega, and a lot of people tend to bring it when it comes to fire types being a requirement. But of course, these two are not the only powerhouses when it comes to fire types. There is, of course, Reshiram, and just like with Mega Charizard X, it also has a dragon typing which is going to help with that water type damage so that is something you should definitely consider bringing but of course if you are lacking in reshirams then you could always bring the usual suspects like darmanitan or with moltres and then of course when it comes to these shadows shadow moltres and shadow entei are also going to be readily good but yeah overall it's just all the fire types you could bring that's what it comes down to and that is of course because genesect is a steel and bug type and both of those are weak against fire, which means Genesect is going to have a double weakness against fire types. So even though it has a water type move, I highly suggest you bring nothing but fire types. It's the only type that it is weak against. And that is of course because it has that very ideal type combination of steel and bug, which makes it resistant to pretty much every single type in the game except for fire. I mean, that's pretty insane. Anything that is strong against steel types is weak against bug types, and anything that's strong against bug types is weak against steel types like overall this is actually the perfect type combination in the game the only difference of course being is that this type combination is double weak against fire so obviously you're going to be shoehorned into one type fortunately there's just a lot of different fire types that you could bring and still be very effective now let's say you are lacking in legendaries and mythicals well fortunately there's a lot of budget friendly pokemon that you could bring that are very strong fire types. Like I mentioned earlier, you could bring Darmanitan. This is a very solid non-legendary fire type Pokemon. And then of course there's Mega Houndoom and Mega Charizard. Those are always going to be staples and they are also readily available. Like if you have a good Charizard, you are pretty much set if you are able to Mega Evolve it. And then of course with Houndoom as well, considering the amount of damage that it does. But you could also bring regular Charizards and still be useful. I mean, the fact that Genesect has a double weakness to fire makes it just really weak against fire, so it really doesn't matter what fire types you bring. Another couple 
couple of great options include Magmortar and then of course some of the shadow Pokemon that are currently available like Arcanine and Ninetales. Those are all really powerful. And then of course there's Chandler with fire type moves. Like if you have a Chandler with fire spin and overheat, you're going to completely melt down this boss. It's just pretty insane the amount of damage that you can deal up against a boss with double weakness to fire. And of course, you could always bring any of the Community Day fire type starters with Blast Burn. Those are always some of the highest DPS fire types that are non-legendary. You should definitely consider bringing any of those, like Blaziken especially, considering it is the highest DPS out of all of the fire type starters. That is definitely something you should consider bringing if you are lacking in legendaries. So that about covers all of the different counters. Next, let's go into the little details. First and foremost, Genesect is a bug and steel type, which means it's going to be boosted by two different weather types and that is of course rainy weather and snowy weather. Now depending on where you live you might start experiencing snowy weather boosts already but rainy weather is going to be a little bit more common throughout the world so if you want a weather boosted Genesect then make sure you're going out and raiding it as much as possible whenever it is raining or you could just try to join a worldwide community and see if anyone has any weather boosted Genesects that you could join with a remote raid pass. Again if you bring the right counters you don't need a lot of trainers up against this boss considering how weak it is with in terms of its defense stats so you could really go about this with just two or three other trainers or just having two or three trainers in total and you should be able to farm up this boss. The unfortunate thing is Genesect is not necessarily that relevant as a PvP Pokemon and in terms of raid DPS it's unfortunately going to be weak against a lot of other Pokemon as well. I mean unless you need a really solid bug type it's also going to be outclassed by a lot of other Pokemon so unfortunately it's more of a vanity Pokemon but yes like I said it is a very powerful bug type so you should consider getting a very solid Genesect especially because it does have that douse drive move and that's always going to be very useful. The perfect IVs for Genesect is going to be 1916 it's no different from the other versions of Genesect and then of course if it's weather boosted you should look for one that's 23 95. Those are the magic numbers for Genesect, but again, because it is not necessarily that relevant in PvP, you should really just go for those perfect IVs. So yeah, there you have it. This is my quick guide on how you can defeat Genesect with Douse Drive. Again, it's going to have a water type move, but you should still bring nothing but fire types. That's the key to defeating Genesect easily. So yeah, if there's anything that I missed in this guide, definitely share them down below in the comment section. And if you ended up enjoying this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And I am Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, and I'll catch you all later.